Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Tiny Rogues. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. A few people asked me to show the cinders ahead of time, so I'm going to quickly just kind of mess over the ones that I have been using. I kind of just avoid anything that gives us more enchanted enemies. It does mean that I take a lot where when we do get enchanted enemies, it's going to be kind of rough, but that's sort of just... I don't know, it seems to work out pretty well. And same thing when I set up the mastery, it's just kind of avoid getting enchanted enemies. But when we do get them, they might be a bit spicy is all. So we're going to take out the warrior. We need to go to hell in order to unlock the next class, the barbarian. And yeah, so the warrior weapons gain 10% more base attack speed per upgrade level. Let us go. We got the dice on. Let's get to it. It's been a few days since I played. Uh, interestingly, just a few just a few sometimes it it feels like you know just one day in between and it's just like oh man i haven't touched that game in so long right at least for me i don't know about anyone else i can't remember what it used to feel like <laughs> do i like a wooden chest more i think i do okay so let's see is there anything we can really do that synergizes particularly well with upgrade levels some things can get upgraded more like guns or something i think Ooh, nice. We got a extra weapon here. We got 10 gold. Might be worth checking out the Shapo still. Can't afford the Dire Wolf. Mana Poach is a no. Might want to take a look at our equipment here too anyway. Uh, we get plus one heart. We also have an offhand. It gives us plus one block. Grants Ambush. It's not really worth paying for. You got to take the three strength while we can, right? We'll be fine. We can just flash that back up anyway, right? We have no bombs. Let us move on. I don't know. We're probably going to be stuck with melee weapons this run, which is fine. Ugh. I think I will avoid the curse when I have no bombs. I think that's fine. Hmm. I'm going to say souls there. Yeah, the dev is hard at work. There are still many things being added to this game on a day-by-day -day basis, practically. So there is a lot to keep up with, nevertheless. I could probably keep playing this game forever, and it seems like they're going to update the game more quickly than I can check out the updates. Oh, or at least practically. Hey, I don't know if I've ever seen this phase. Never mind. All right. Kind of just looking at a few things in our inventory while we wait. We do have some results here. The Unstoppable Battle Axe scales with strength. It's not bad. Plus 25%, not very effective modifier. It's okay. Ooh, the Headhunters. The scaling is not as good. It is also two-handed. I haven't really done one with axes, though. Plus damage dealt to bosses. 161 to 329. Hmm... Attacks at the same speed. I'm going to try out the axe. The other one had a legendary. I, what, what do you think? Should we... Uh, the other one had a legendary enchantment. Should I upgrade this now? It's only uncommon. I don't think you do. I think you hold. I don't think we need to be in a rush. I would love to see more things around the super effective or not very effective thing maybe influence us in order to try to get us to uh maybe have a couple weapon types depending on the enemies that you're getting right so in case we encounter an enemy where slashing damage doesn't do very well we might have to swap to our another one you know make us think a little bit harder perhaps about it hmm could be interesting okay so what do we got here we got rage all primary attacks grant a stack of rage. Melee attacks grant an additional stack. Gives us more attack speed. It's an emotion buff. We also got Razor's Edge. Um, We definitely don't want the other two, I think. So it is slashing damage, obviously. But there's a chance we won't stick the slashing damage. So we might not want it. Why don't we take rage? It sounds like it'll be fine. Nice. Big strength, huh? Big strength. I like going strength just because it allows me to not have to worry about um, equip load so much, right? Um, I, I will go this way. We'll take a heart to look at this, I think. We start out with quite a bit of health. 
anyway, right? Ooh, baby. Depending how lawful you are, it's actually probably not that great. We have no keys. I do have a little bit of money. But just a little bit. During combat, peri periodically launch a missile. Hmm. It's interesting. Don't really need the boots. A flame orbital is meh. Crappy eggs! <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, what do we think? I don't think I've ever tried it. Periodically. Periodically. I am curious, what does periodically equate to exactly? How much time are we talking here normally? Because I kind of don't know. I guess I'm going to go for this again. I'm actually not really sure. I saw one missile go off. Plus 10% magic damage. That's not very good, right? Yeah, this might not do anything since we need to go for evil. I think I'd rather go this way now. Do 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 do. Well, I'm out of keys. Wait, did I get a key earlier? I just born I did. Companion would be nice. Yeah, I think we'll go for a companion now. I think, I think, I think. Excuse me. You have a surprising amount of range with the axes here. Right? Bonk, bonk, bonk. You can see the buff in the top left. It was at 10 stacks, but then the boss hid for a long time. Whew. Explosion's kind of doing something. All right, we got at least one rare. In increased repeat damage. Meh. Mana drain. Meh. Increased sound damage. Meh. Plus two seconds to poison duration. So these are all bad. <laughs> None of these do anything, as far as I can tell. No poison, no sound damage, no mana drain, and we don't currently repeat. I guess I'm gonna roll them, because they do- there's not even something that does like, oh, well, maybe. Aha! There we go, the voodoo doll, and I get four of them right away. That's probably the way that we're going. Sounds pretty good to me. And we're gonna have a lot of attack speed, actually. Law shop? I guess I'll go. We do have that charm. We could be try to be lawful and evil. Could try. I don't know how well that's gonna work out. Damage dealt to fiends. Damage dealt to armor. I probably want to buy a couple of things here. Elemental damage is probably not gonna be doing much for us. I don't know. I just spent a lot of souls, so we're gonna have to be careful here. Definitely gonna have to think about that. I don't have another heart, I guess, right? So I guess we're gonna go this way. All right, attack speed really kicked up because of the companions now. That's nice. We also got a stamina surge here. Another blacksmith whetstone. Again, I don't want uncommon weapons. I think there's a chance that they could roll to be one higher, but it doesn't really feel like it's worth looking at that much to me. This seems like it could be worth it. I think the rarities tend to be better out of something like this. Now, it might not be like an axe like we'd hoped for, but it'll be melee at least, right? It is an axe. Just not a very good one, right? It is plus one, though. It's, it's like super similar. I'm surprised, kind of. Right? Hmm. It attacks a little bit more frequently. The range of damage is slightly higher. Since it's plus one. Yeah, I don't know how much it matters. It probably doesn't really matter, right? I'm going to assume it's worse because of the scaling, mostly. We're going to drop all this stuff. Okay, do I want to drop anything else? I don't think so. Back at it. Oh god, why? 
Please kill them faster. Woo! It was pretty scary, right? You don't have any flasks. Definitely no ranged weapons. Lollipop is 12 gold. It's probably worth it. 1% increased damage per gold you have is okay. 27 gold for a Twilight Branch. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we don't bother with the money bag. It's not even that good anyway. That's probably worth it. I guess we will visit the tavern. Unfortunately, you will not be impressed by my weapon. A cursed golden chest is pretty good since it's a mimic. I think it's worth refilling here for our safety. But I think that's all we can really do in the tavern. We just don't have a lot of money yet. Okay, there we go. Money, bombs, everything. New body armor, all set items. I kind of like to avoid set items, to be totally honest. Should I roll these? No magic weapons. At least one charm. It's just one charm. The troll! Those missiles are actually dealing a pretty decent chunk here. I haven't had a... We've only had gone one trait so far. Right? Pretty sure. Feels like we didn't really get a lot of stats lately. Yeah, just one trait. Not much, huh? The Emblem of Bahamut. Depending on how good you are. Well, that's not what we're going for. The achievement requires us to go to hell. So that's just not gonna happen really, right? Running shoes on completing combat counter room without taking damage to gain a second momentum. Uh which only gives you move speed. So not particularly interesting. Hmm. Move speed again. Guess I'll take some running shoes. <laughs> Certainly not great. Certainly not great. We got to save all our souls for the next evil shop that we see, hopefully. Okay. We need strength. We need to get these traits going on. We're on floor four. I don't think I've been avoiding stance, really. Boom. Aha! It's a royal armory, even. Let me in. There we go. What do we got? I do see an axe. What do you got? What do you got? Dragon Slayer Lance. Two-handed. Hits from this weapon get 100% ruthless chance against dragons. Okay. This is a one-handed axe. Good scaling on it. Has a bad enchantment right now. Grants a stack of fear and hit. This weapon has 100% chance for attacks to repeat. The Colossus Machete. Each point of strength grants 1% crushing hit chance to this weapon. Ooh, man. These are tough choices, huh? Quick Axe. Why is there no scaling? Huh. It's like super quick. That is a lot of attacks per second, right? Why is there no scaling? The damage is actually obscenely high. Right? When you look at the attack, the damage range, and then uh, compare that also to the attacks per second, compare that to, like, the machete. But the machete has other bonuses. So you sacrifice scaling because it starts off really high. That might be pretty good for us. A lot of those sound fun, to be honest. But this might be good until if and when we do find a legendary. And then we'll upgrade it a couple times. So now the attack speed is even higher. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Feel like this is going to be pretty good, right? So what are we looking for here? I guess just stuff around melee? Your attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed, but percent modifiers to attack speed instead apply to the base weapon value instead. So we have a ton of attack speed. Look at that, plus 73%. I don't know if I've ever tried Steady Strikes. Now, our first trait do, does kind of matter with attack speed, but not that much. At 200% of their value. We're going to try it out. I don't think I've really tried this, at least. These doors are pretty bad. I don't know if it's really worth rolling, though. Probably not. 
So we lost a lot of attack speed, but the base damage is going to be a lot higher now. So we can probably take a look at that. Yeah, that went up a ton. I should probably, maybe it would have been best if I like looked ahead of time so we could directly compare, but something tells me we're going to be slapping them really quick here. We don't have a ton of money. I have no armor to repair. I think I have enough to upgrade the axe the final time though. Yeah, we might, we might be stuck with this axe for the rest of the run. I can't tell yet. We'll just take the gold now, I think. Uh, maybe the key was better. Yeah. Key was probably better. Go to Treasure Rock. Accessory or charm. Two keys out of that. Beautiful. Um, Our accessory is certainly nothing special. But we also have an empty charm slot, so I feel like we might as well go this way, right? I don't have a lot of souls. Ho ho! So I guess we're like an attack speed build, if anything, right? But also we converted our attack speed. <laughs> this is interesting. Plus one luck is pretty decent. I don't think the bard hat is that good. Plus one armor is not great. That one's horrible. I don't understand this one. Why is it so bad? Like, these are the same thing, except this has a negative effect. Is there a time and place where that is not negative? I would find that hard to believe. We need to go to the evil shop. And we need to buy some things. As many things as we can here. What is our alignment as it is? Neutral. A little bit lawful. So, we do have some bad things here, like magic damage is useless, right? That costs 12, that costs 14. So either way, I can only buy one thing here. Hmm. Do I need to buy the Devil Horns just to get uh, as much evil as possible, potentially? Your curse hits are guar deal guaranteed critical hits. I think we have like one curse right now. We do. Hmm. Obviously, the strength like does a little bit more for us. Um... I guess I kind of want to make sure that we actually get to go. I don't know. This costs more souls, so possible that it was unnecessary to buy that. And I should have just done the strength one. But oh well, here we are. Here we are. Let's see. That sounds good. Who needs scaling, right? I guess I just take the stats here. We got plenty of keys and bombs right now, right? Don't mind me. Now, is that automaton enchanted too, if everything else is? I like the consumables, but our weapon's max, so if we got weapon upgrade, that probably wouldn't be very good. If that wasn't strength, I might go that way. Okay, so what do we got here? Mm, definitely not opportunity. I don't like that one. And the tally of five melee attacks while wearing a shield. Shield bash the nearest enemy. So that'd be good if we kept our attack speed. That would be amazing, actually. That's actually really, really strong with a good amount of attack speed. It might actually still be okay, even, I would say. Because the base attack speed of this weapon is still very high. It's still very high. Um, Yeah, I think I like it. If we're wearing a shield, We're pro that's probably not going to change. I think we like it. I don't actually really have anything to sell, interestingly. Okay, then I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I've made the shield bash work quite well before in the past. Hey, the devil cloak! 10% cursed hit chance depending on how evil you are. I guess we're putting it on. Goodbye, explosion vest or whatever. I mean, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't have a lot of money. I think I'd rather get consumables here now. Wow, plus 5 XP, very nice. Cheese and a Phoenix Feather. Yeah, so, I mean, those things are all amazing. That's really lucky. So we're kind of getting into the Cursed Hits now. Okay, I don't really love these top three. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Additionally, reduce global tally requirements further per maximum point of block that you have. So we get the Shield Bash every, like, three hits instead. It's pretty solid. 
Cursed Soul Heart. I guess we don't mind getting Cursed Hits, right? I mean, there's other curse effects that we don't like, but... This might be fine, I guess. The Giant Treasure Chest, and I do have a key for it. I've seen one of these before, but I couldn't open it. What do you got? Baby, 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 baby. Look at it all. Yo, we got some legendaries in here and everything. Plus two stamina. Probably not that good. A flame shield. That is strictly better than our current shield, I believe. Which just gives us plus one block. We do want the block, but... Where is it? Is this thing? Flame shield. Yeah. Periodically inflicts maximum stacks of scorch to nearby enemies. Okay, we don't have any gloves yet. We got the Icker Torch. That would be nice, but we kind of want the shield now. Partizan. No. Periodically trigger a chain lightning that deals damage every two units moved. I mean, it's got to be better than our running shoes here. That's for sure, right? And the Conjurer Hood grants companion damage. No, thank you. We can drop this. Pick up the epic that's worth more money. Drop that as well. Pick up that. I'm not going to pick up the other thing. Yeah, we'll try to get, like, some gloves here or something, I think. We should be pretty strong right now. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Dang. We haven't had a solid run like this in a while. This weapon is obviously very, very good. For where we are, at least. No... Plus five dex, no. Grants an icy ball orbital, no. These are all quite bad, I would say. Right? But they make me pick something. Hmm. Too bad. Just gonna leave it there. I don't think we have any rolls. We have an extra res with that phoenix down or whatever it is. Uh, we do have keys. Sure, we'll go this way then. We got rare weapons, but that's not particularly good. Strength go growth would be nice. Of course. Our weapon is maxed out, right? At plus four. Now there's a chance I could use that whetstone in the future. In case we get a legendary weapon or something like that, right? There's no point in going to the right. Oops, I lost my armor there. I got one key. What are the odds of getting a better weapon here? Huh. Not super high. Not yet. Later on, we might get, like, some legendaries off. Or give me some keys back. He did not give me any keys back. Hmm. do 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 when do you get the block back, exactly? We do have a lot of tipsiness, but I'd rather just go this way, really. Yeah, those are all scrolls. Those are pretty terrible. We already have an enchantment on our weapon. 20 gold, and I get a lawful. So that's not bad. Um, After that, we're pretty good here, right? We will go ahead and take this. We just got some dice, and this is two keys, so I think that's worth. Kind of close, probably. All epic sounds good. Hopefully, they show us some gloves. Maybe a new excess. One. Okay. I don't know why that bird always catches me with that attack. I tend to, like, rush in and get bonked immediately, right? Hmm. Non-triggered lucky hit. I remember we had a really good run with that. No... Grants damage depending on how evil you are. Currently 20%. It's probably the best thing here, right? Didn't get any gloves offered. But we plan to try to get more evil, right? We're 30% on the lawful, so that's not bad. We gotta save all of our souls to get more evil things, right? Bum, 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 bum. Hmm, one strength for a key. I'm gonna say it's worth it. Bombs definitely have a oh, oh, oh lesser use now, it feels. God, my move speed. Am I encumbered or something? I don't know why, but it just feels like super low all of a sudden. The mimic on the left. Sure. I mean it's not gonna give us anything. Uh okay. 
Hope I don't die. Hmm. Hello. How do you do this? Aha! Attempt to finish the sculpture. Yes? Uh-oh, what do they want? Okay, like that. Oh, okay. 2% it says. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> bad. Uh. Oh, that was also pretty bad. I win. Okay. <laughs> the goddess of winter seems satisfied. The blizzard charm periodically inflicts chill to all enemies in the room every four seconds. So I guess we'll drop the fiend damage, right? Sure, we'll go for that. Sounds fun. Music? Hello? The Zweihander. Means that we can't use a shield. So, yeah, we're not going to do it, basically. Triggers your on taking damage effects. No, 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 I'm going to say. Where's my blizzard at? We actually got... Was the blizzard going off? It might have been going off. I couldn't tell, really. I only have one key. I'm not going to spend it there, I think. But yeah, bombs, it seems like we have a hard time spending bombs on things nowadays. You could bomb the spike doors, but that's gone now, right? Don't really want set items. Helmet, no. I guess we'll look at gloves here, right? A walrus. Easiest boss in the game. One. Hey. Hey. All right, they caught me talking trash. Oh, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> we got a good amount here. There's a new shield. The Warlock Gloves. 25% increased damage over time tick speed. That's definitely not good. Plus one block grants immunities to push and pull effects. It's not that good. It's not necessary, right? I could roll here because that does, like, nothing. I guess I will. Legendary gloves. Here we go. 25% increased effect of buff status effects. Now, hold on. Hold on. I feel like... So you got like rage here. It says it's an emotion buff. I assume that still works though, right? What do you got here though? While evil, your primary ticks inflict doom. Oh wait, I'm not actually evil yet. Well, we were about to be, because all three doors are here, so it's pretty much guaranteed. Okay. 10% magic find. Level up gain a soul heart. Faster tick rate of periodic effects. So you got, like, the conduit greaves, I guess. You got the scorch thing. We'll try it out. 10% magic find. Do I need to be more evil? Hmm. Yeah, we'd like to do one more. What would we drop for this, really? I don't think you drop the order charm. Do I just buy one and leave it? Sure. I'll do that. Perhaps a bit risque. Hmm. I feel like our defenses are very, very low. <laughs> I mean, we do have two reses, but even then, our move speed is just atrocious. These are terrible, are they not? We got plenty of rolls here. Yeah, give me some decks for some move speed, please. Never felt it so low, I think. All right, what do you got? When you deal a critical hit, not amazing. On combat start, full stacks of battle rush peri periodically trigger your on combat start effects, including this one every 7.41 seconds. Incre it's a buff then with increased move speed and damage. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Um, hmm, yeah, it's okay. Stacks up to 10 times, so I'll get 30% increased damage and move speed. 
at the start of combat, it lasts for... Yeah. I think it's okay. Probably could have gone bigger there, you know? But I think I kind of like the move speed, and hopefully none of the combats last so long that it's going to, like, totally run out anyway, right? I'm kind of thinking... Okay, pawn shop. Hmm. I do kind of need to go. I just hate losing the health for it. We do very need to go, don't we? Drop this. Drop this. There's a chance we do swap our weapon. I'm not going to say it's very high. Kind of looking around to see if there's anything we want to drop ahead of time. Obviously, this old battle axe. Shop. Ice climbers, no. Plus one dex? Hmm. Keys are probably worth it. We don't need to see the armor. Our weapon has no scaling, so this is fine. It feels like a bit of a waste of money. I've been complaining about, like, move speed and stuff, so... Seems like it... I guess it's kind of worth it. Okay, we can get even more evil here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Lost treasure. 100% increased magic find. Whoa. 10 souls, huh? This, uh, the voodoo doll just works too well for us, so I don't think I want to. No, no, no. No. Plus one block, plus one heart. Yes. Too bad we just sold everything, huh? No, no, and no. You could go this way. I'm so worried about getting just hit a few times, right? Nah, I don't think we need to. We'll be fine, right? Guess I'm just gonna take this flasky refill. Go, 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 go! All legendaries, baby! Let's go do it. Let's go do it. All right, what do you think? Go right first. One. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> Game plays itself, baby. Game plays itself. Maybe that attack speed thing we took early on was just the right way to go. While evil grants the arch devil companion. So we are very evil already. Negative five. So I can take off this set nowadays, and it's not a big deal. Could definitely do that. Hmm. France dark damage. Burn and Scorch persist indefinitely and have 100% increased effect. It's not very good, I think. I don't think so. Oh, two block. Grants two spear warrior companions and grants increased attack speed. I think that is probably the way to go here. I think that's the most interesting since it gives us the attack speed. 20% more even. And it gives us an extra block so we get more... Uh, shield bash hits, right? I think that all makes sense. Let's go, 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 go. Did I just walk right through that? Why aren't you dying? That was weird. Cheese, curse to spell. We still want to get rid of curse. Ooh, royal armory. All oh, legendaries. What do you think? The Ocarina of Time? That's a no. No. Interesting. Gunger. Gugner. Gunger. Triple S scaling. Okay. Triggers a chain link. It is two-handed. Or the Leviathan Axe. So how does this look comparatively? Interesting sometimes when I compare the damage changes. I think it has to do with like these stacks or whatever. Hmm... Okay, so it's chilling, so it has some cold damage. It's only plus one right now. Possession of this axe makes you a disciple of the Leviathan. I don't know what that means. So it is quite a bit less uh, damage per hit. Even with the scaling, because I'm pretty sure it takes the scaling into account. And it doesn't attack as frequently. Let's take a look at this real quick. It's two-handed, so I think we can just ignore it. Interesting looking weapon, though. So obviously we're going to try it. And I guess we can use this now, right? 
it looks like every other axe it does not attack as frequently i don't know if it's a massive difference but there is a difference here right 40 30 and it just doesn't hit as hard i mean the numbers keep changing because of these buffs or whatever <laughs> i don't know what the possession of this axe makes you a disciple of leviathan means the only thing hmm obviously we can upgrade it still too I mean we'll have it disciple of Leviathan why does that sound kind of familiar if we get a lot more strength then it might eventually surpass the other axe right damage rolls twice and takes a lower value no on critical it inflicts fatigue man on dash trigger an ancestral goat no. Tally two primary attacks at close range. Mark the enemy with fighter's mark. Hmm. Guarantees 10 ruthless hits. Guarantees 10 ruthless hits? 10 of them, huh? That's reduced tally, too. I don't know about it, though, still. Like, how often are we actually at what they call close range? I'm not sure. We'll try it out. Hello. Aren't you the devil or whatever? Figure something out. Let's chat. Sure. Your weapon seems mighty fine, but barely upgraded. For the measly amount of all your souls, I'll be glad to upgrade your weapon to level four. We also get plus one evil. For 21 souls? All right. I guess. It'd be nice if it went like one pass, probably. These are not very good chambers now. I assume we're not going to really get better. Let me compare the weapons after this chamber in a second here okay so wait which axe am I actually using it oh I might have been using the other one oh now I don't know so here are the two it's only barely less it shows the same attack speed now I don't really know what to think when it says like the attack speed like that Weirdly, it's the same. Oh, right, because it goes up based on our character, because of our character, right? But it says it's always the base amount, so I don't know what to think about that. It's only barely behind. It's kind of a question of, hmm. Hmm. It's kind of a question of what that possession thing means, right? What do you think? Do we roll... I have the right axe out. I think we roll because I think that cold damage is not very good. What do we get now? Happy. 10% lucky hit chance. I think I like that slightly better. Got an obsidian chest on the left. Buy a gift box, I suppose. Got some cheese. We got a lot of cheese here. 19 bombs, huh? Ho oh ho! Santa coat. Hercules something or another's. I'm using the new axe. I don't know. Maybe the difference just isn't enough to really be super noticeable no matter what we do here at this point, right? Uh, Yeah, we might want to change our body armor. I'm probably thinking too hard about some of these things. I kind of want to see if Leviathan means anything. I remember Leviathan from the Final Fantasy games. It's like a, the water person, right? Water doodad. No... Invincibility after taking damage? Meh. I mean, our current accessory is actually kind of weak. No. No. Hmm. Do we have rolls? We do not. Don't really care then, I think. Evil shop? There is one. I only have 10 souls, though. It's probably fine to look at. Plus one block. I could become more evil, but we are already negative six, so there's no point. All right, then we move on. Floor 10. Leviathan Shrine. May the disciple meet their false idol. Ooh, I welcome my disciple. Has thou brossed any souls? A random reward. Upgrade your weapon. Heal and repair riches. Oh my. How many times can I do this? Will it allow me to upgrade my weapon past four? Wise choice. It did. Can I do it again? 
Is that plus six? Yo, that is amazing then for us. Cause look at the attack speed now. That is amazing. Okay. When we do golden chest, I think that's the right choice for us. Goes past the cap, baby. Goes past the cap. Um, uh, treasure rock. Treasure rock. This weapon doesn't scale with intelligence. First. Uh, we're definitely not going to... There's no way we're swapping weapons at this point. <laughs> Guess I'll take the flask. Doo -doo -doo -boom. You don't have a lot of money, but... Ooh. Ooh. Damn, can't get them both. Does strength do more for us than dex? Not really. This weapon scales with both, right? It do. And then I think the dex is a little bit better here. I'm pretty sure, right? I wonder if we get to see the Leviathan Shrine again and get even more levels, potentially. I'm going to skip the beef there. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too cautious. Okay, my friend. All oh, Legos. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we can use a new accessory. I'm down with replacing our... Our set. One! Oh, we didn't get him before. There we go. <laughs> That's my standard. If we got him before he... <laughs> Uh, runs away there, basically. Primary attack cycle through repeating sequence of guaranteed lucky, curse, critical, and wait, ruthless, and crushing hits. Uh, when you or your companions deal melee damage to an enemy, you and your companions are granted a stack of rage. So that's actually bad because we already gain rage from this. So it's essentially useless as far as I can tell. Plus one block, plus one armor. No. And also no Artemis's quiver. We have no rolls. Um... A Zodiac loop might be better than the periodic. There's only one bad effect here, right? And that is the curse, but it's not that bad since our curse hits are guaranteed to be critical hits. I'm gonna try it out. Long story short. Alright, we need to go to hell. Can we peek at our weapon differences now? Yeah, now our weapons see now the Leviathan Axe does seem to be better, finally. It just took took a lot more. I guess it's possible if we had kept upgrading the other one that it would have stayed better, which is crazy to think about. Ah, you do get to go to another Leviathan shrine. Okay, I think we just keep upgrading here. I think the others are pretty obvious as to what they do. Wise choice plus eight! Plus eight, increased trigger damage. What are our stats here exactly? 31 strength, 13 dex, seven intelligence. Trigger damage. Don't think we have a lot of triggers, if any. The greaves are trigger damage. I think we'd rather just take the strength. Woo! Baby, baby. So I assume we, yeah, it said possession of this ax. Does that mean we had to have the axe on? I don't think tomes are going to do anything for us now. Uh, I did block something there. Whoopsie. Non-crits? Mm, I don't think so. A soul shop. We have no soul. Zero. Trigger damage. Obsidian chest. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll look here. I have one key. Hello? Bonk. Plus three armor. Did something just hit me? Hmm. I don't think so. We'll be fine, right? First Ambrose. I think that's fine here. Don't care too much about the cars. Oh, big soul. Come on. How high can we get this weapon? Do you think there's a an actual cap? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Didn't see that stuff. We need, we want as many souls as possible. I assume we get to see them one more time. I guess attack speed 
should be okay here. It looks like that one trait kind of lies because it it looks like it, it said that you the weapon is always the base attack speed, but it looks like it keeps it's still going up. It's hard for me to totally tell. Our charms are pretty good. Our helmet is weak. Our boots are probably not great for us. I would say. All right, quit talking. And one. Very nice. Is Shield Bash a non-trigger effect? It might be. And two. <laughs> Uno mas. One more. Hmm. Cold damage type weapons at upgrade level four and higher inflicts frostbite. No. Each point of intelligence. No. Periocal effects. Also no. No rerolls. Forget it. We're moving on. Floor number 12. I'm just excited. Uh, so we're going to have a... We get the plus four of this weapon, assumedly, here. It's going to be, like, level 12 or something. Oh, my God. We They do let us do it. That's insane. Upgrade the weapon. Plus nine. Plus ten. Eleven. I am kind of curious about some of these other rewards here, but they seem kind of obvious, so I don't know how much we should really care. Again, we don't really want trigger damage. Yeah, attack speed's fine. Want to take a peek at the web? Baby, 6.6 .6 attacks per second. Absolute insanity, honestly. Looks like that's as high as she's going to go here. But if we... I mean, had I known this, I maybe I would have not spent some souls at some point or something. I'm not so sure. Hard to say. Woo! That's pretty insane, though. Lucky hit chance. Eh, I don't feel like going through the dialogue to get through that door. <laughs> I think we won. What do you think? Random potion. Effect. There you go, hon. Uh, yet yeah, more attack speed. Oh, come on. I hate this enemy. Get him. Get him. Okay. Chop, I have no souls, okay. Alright. Two cursed keys. Nah, that's no point. Hmm. Crit multiplier is probably decent. Woo! Close one. Alright. What do you think? Is it gonna be good? We'll look at the weapon one last time before we go. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, one more. I did just block that. Oh, baby, that is insane. That was absolutely insane. I got like 30 souls for that. Interesting. Oh, come on. I want to upgrade the weapon some more. Plus 12 happy Leviathan axe. Absolute insanity. Five souls per upgrade is just crazy. Yeah, there was one point where we spent all of our souls to upgrade the axe, like, twice. I don't remember. I think it was, like, 21 souls or something like that. So we could have had a couple more levels, but I didn't know. If only I had known, you know what I mean? Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. That was a fun run. That was definitely uh, pretty interesting, and I'd never seen some of those things that occurred there. But, yeah, great weapon. Really cool run. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.